In this video, I will walk you through an end-to-end -end solution in Microsoft Fabric that uses over 220 million rows of data with the Fabric Lakehouse, Spark Notebooks, the Fabric Warehouse, Pipelines, and the new Power BI Direct Lake Semantic model that has very impressive query performance, over 220 million rows of data. This entire solution is also available for anyone to install at no cost from a Git repo that I built along with my colleague, Ender Rana. A link to the repo is in the video description. For a quick introduction, my name is Greg Beaumont and I currently work in Microsoft's healthcare vertical as a technical specialist for data and AI. The data used in this video is 220 million rows of real open source data from CMS, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. The data is for Medicare Part D prescribers by provider and drug. A link to the source data is also provided in the description of this video. One lake within Fabric is a software as a service data lake. You don't need to have access to an Azure subscription. You don't need to deploy the data lake. You can just start using it in a Fabric workspace once you are granted the appropriate permissions by your admin. The Fabric Lakehouse tool allows you to browse one lake within a workspace. And if you've ever used Power BI, you'll notice that it's nearly identical to the experience in a Power BI workspace. Next, those nine CSV files are combined into a single table with metadata such as the data types. A Fabric Spark notebook was used in the repo, but you could also use other tools. If you're an Azure Databricks customer, you may want to use Databricks for this step. You can browse the Fabric Spark notebook in the Git repo. After downloading it and uploading it to Fabric, you can also browse it and run it in the Fabric workspace. The result of running that notebook converts the data to Delta Parquet format into what is referred to as a table within Fabric. You can now browse that table and review the metadata. If you're in a hurry, you can go ahead and build out a Direct Lake semantic model over that flattened table of data right away. But the repo offers another step to transform that data into a star schema design for optimized query performance. To build the star schema design, there are two options in the Git repo. First, you can use the Fabric Warehouse to create views that represent the star schema tables. You can see here that the SQL queries were converted into views. Next, you can use Fabric Pipelines, which is the same pipeline tool that you'll find in Azure Data Factory, to populate the lake house using those views. As a second option, there's also a Spark notebook in the repo that does the exact same thing. I personally prefer to write SQL queries, and my colleague Ender prefers to write Spark notebooks, so we went ahead and built out both options. One isn't necessarily better than the other. There are multiple tools in Fabric that are designed to meet your unique skill set. Also, if you're a Databricks user, you could do all of these steps all the way up to this point in Databricks, and then use Fabric shortcuts to access the data via OneLake. Now, you can browse the new tables for the star schema design in the lake house. From here, you can create a direct lake semantic model right in the browser. Does this look familiar? It's the same design you'll find in Power BI Desktop. Drag and drop your table relationships, configure the metadata, and add your DAX runtime calculations by pasting them in from the repo. Once you've got that direct lake semantic model, you can create a new report and test the query performance without ever switching to a new tab in your browser. These queries are running on over 220 million rows of data without an imported layer of data on top of one lake. Finally, let's review a Power BI report that is built entirely using this new Direct Lake connector, querying over 220 million rows of data in the Fabric One Lake. We can filter down to a single year. At which point everything on the page will filter down to just the year 2021. Again, this is in direct lake mode, running over those Delta Parquet files sitting inside of one lake. If we were to filter the report down to an individual state, you'll see everything on the page filters down to just that subset of the data, and we can then drill down into the prescriber type, and queries will run so that we are looking at just nurse practitioners in the state of Alaska for the year 2021, and you can then click on a single nurse practitioner in order to see what their prescriptions were for that year that were billed to Medicare Part D. Again, you can recreate this entire solution yourself using the Git repo link provided in the description. Feedback and discussion is welcome in the comments, and it would be great if you could subscribe and like this video.